Hello there and welcome back to the channel. This is Nerd World. I'm sure you already knew that. And I'm sure you already know this. This video is all about the fateful tale of what happened to the USS Defiant. Not that one. This one. Last seen in the 23rd century in the Prime Universe, but first seen in timeline in the 22nd century in the alternate universe. This is what happened to the USS Defiant. Before we get started, please like, share, subscribe and comment down below and tell me if this was a satisfying story conclusion for you to the mystery, what was at the time, a 40 odd year mystery in Trek history as to what happened to the ship. The USS Defiant NCC-1764 was a Constitution-class starship operated by the United Federation of Planets Starfleet. It was constructed at the Lunar Fleet Yards at Earth and was in operation during the Federation Klingon War, of which it served as a ship of the line. Later, in 2268, the vessel would respond to a distress call from the unexplored region of space known as the Tholian Sector. This region of space was of course claimed by the Tholians. Upon entering this region, the crew would begin to exhibit signs of madness and hysteria and the chief medical officer was unable to determine a cause. Over the course of a relatively short space of time, the crew would descend into absolute madness and begin to savagely murder one another. As the vessel began to shift through interphasic space, about three weeks had passed and the USS Enterprise NCC-1701 under the command of Captain James Tiberius Kirk was sent in on a search and rescue mission to locate the stricken vessel, only to determine that the ship was now lost with all hands, but the vessel was seemingly salvageable. However, things would deteriorate quickly aboard the ship as the vessel seemed to be phasing into some kind of interphasic rift. Kirk himself almost became lost for a time in said rift. The vessel, unbeknownst to the Federation, would be traveling into another universe and another time, traveling back in time into another universe inhabited by the Terran Empire in 2155. This universe was much different to the prime universe of the United Federation of Planets. Instead, the universe the vessel arrived in was inhabited by a savage race of humans known as the Terrans. They would use the vessel to reconquer and suppress the rebels who were rebelling against the Terran Empire. The ship had been salvaged by the Tholians of that universe, who were also responsible for the ship's disappearance. They had sent the distress call into the void that they had created by detonating a tricobalt device into the gravity well of a dead star. Unwilling and not brave enough to send in their own ships into the rift, they tried to entice someone in from the other side by sending in the distress call. This was successful. It brought in the USS Defiant, a ship from the future with all of its advanced technologies. But before the Tholians were able to fully exploit this advantage, the Imperial Starfleet learned of the ship's existence and being embroiled in a war saw the potential for this vessel to bring an end to this ongoing conflict against the rebels. The vessel was salvaged by the ISS Enterprise, which was regrettably destroyed during this rescue mission. But the vessel would go on to liberate the Terran Empire from rebellion, putting down an entire fleet of rebel ships that included Vulcan Andorian and Tellarite warships. It would also engage and destroy other t another Terran vessel, which was now populated by rebels, as well as be controlled by the crew of this ship to overthrow the current government of the Terran Empire and install Empress Sato. The vessel was considered a benchmark of technology for the Empire. Decades ahead of anything that they currently had, they were able to use it to advance the Empire far beyond its current borders. The vessel would undergo significant modifications over the years and would be the flagship for a time of the Terran Empire until the technology was fully assimilated and they were able to build much larger, even more powerful vessels. 
by the time of the 23rd century, the technological leaps and bounds that the Terrans had accomplished thanks to this vessel had put them at the apex of the powers of the Alpha and Beta Quadrants and allowed them to expand into an empire far larger and more expansive and powerful than the Federation would achieve even by the 24th century. And there we have the story of the USS Defiant, a Constitution-class starship. In all other ways, it was basically the same as the USS Enterprise. Same basic layout with only subtle differences of technology and basic systems that would only vary slightly based on the fact of when the ships were constructed. So, let me know in the comments below what you think of this story. As I said at the beginning of the video, it's a fairly interesting one where they integrate an original series story and the mystery of the loss of the Defiant and they bring it into the important events taking place in the Mirror Universe and how that ship helped to not only shape the destiny of the Terran Empire but also save it and prevent it from falling. All in all, good little ship. A true Defiant one. I'm sorry. If you made it all the way to the end of this video, thank you for watching, and with that said, bye-bye.